Doctor found after 24 years missing, rescuers check camp and realizes why he's alone. Dr. Carlos Sanchez Ortiz de Salazar mysteriously disappeared from his home Spain in 1996. For many years, his disappearance would remain a mystery. 20 years passed without any indication of what happened to the doctor until a discovery was made by Italian mushroom pickers. Approximately 90,000 people go missing on some days in the US, according to a member of the National Missing and Unidentified Person System. 40% of these people are children below the age of 18. People disappear for a variety of reasons. Some disappear due to memory loss or mental illness. Some people, however, disappear in order to protect themselves from situations such as domestic abuse. Anyone can disappear, even celebrities. Olivia Newton-John is one example of this. She has personal experience with a missing person. Olivia is famous for her role as Sandy in the popular musical Grease. Due to the film's increasing popularity, Olivia was more and more noticed by the public. However in 2005 tragedy struck and her boyfriend of 10 years disappeared. Patrick McDermott, a 48-year-old cameraman, vanished while on a fishing trip overnight. McDermott's family discovered his car at a parking lot near the San Pedro, California, harbor a week after he vanished. On August 10, the police began asking the public for assistance, and authorities began searching the water for his body. The Coast Guard searched for him for three years, and eventually, he was presumed dead. As time passed, people started learning more and more about his life, and that made them question whether he vanished on purpose. The fact that he was joined by 20 other people on his fishing expedition yet none of them witnessed him fall overboard aroused some suspicions. McDermott also owed his ex-wife a hefty amount for child support, and his insurance policy stated that when he died, his son would receive $100,000. These facts also made people raise an eyebrow. McDermott's disappearance gained so much traction that in 2010 a show called Dateline hired a private investigator to help solve the mystery. They used his real name, Patrick Kim, to look for him. After searching for a while the investigator claimed to have discovered evidence. The private investigator claimed that he had found McDermott and he was living a peaceful life in Puerto Vallarta. According to him, he was living under the name Patrick Kim. On top of it all, the investigator stated that Patrick had a message that he wanted to share. Mr. McDermott's wishes, according to his counsel, is not to be hounded any longer by investigators or the media the lead investigator, Philip Klein said. Despite this, McDermott's ex-wife was convinced that he had died. When Klein decided to write a book about the disappearance called Lost at Sea, McDermott's ex-wife, Niper, asked Amazon's Jeff Bezos to remove the book from the online store. Perthno, an Australian news site, stated the Niper claimed that Klein was simply looking to be famous at the expense of an unfortunate tragedy. It seemed that the investigation into the story had ended. However, in 2016 an Australian magazine called Women's Day decided to investigate the story. According to their investigator, they had found that McDermott was living in Salida, Mexico, along with a new lover. The investigator said, Patrick's probably now working in the yachting industry for a high-profile family down there. Due to the renewed interest in the case, Newton John decided to weigh in on McDermott's disappearance. She had moved on since the day he disappeared. She had gotten married to John Easterling in 2008. However, she admitted that she had grieved and that his disappearance had affected her greatly. By the time the investigators claimed to have located McDermott in Mexico, Newton John claimed that she had come to terms with the possibility that he had disappeared by his own choice. I mean, it's human to wonder. But, you know those are the things in life you have to accept and let go the star told 60 Minutes Australia.